Hello, my name is Jason Chonko and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager for Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the Siglent SVA1015X Spectrum Analyzer with Vector Network Analyzer capability. So here we've got the SVA1015X. It looks a lot like our SSA3000X series of Swept Super Heterodyne Spectrum Analyzers. Uh, it has a similar type of display and layout. You'll see it's got a, about a little bit bigger than a 10 inch diagonal display but the major difference on the user interface is going to be the touch screen so we have the ability to move the traces forward and back as well as left and right and we also have this touch assistant that we can drag to the center and open up that have zoom in single peak uh, and the, probably the most useful is going to be screenshot that's going to allow us to quickly save any images of the display to a, an external USB stick uh, we can just touch off and get that back over here uh, we also have control over all of the different settings of the instrument and you'll see over here I've got a USB hub that USB hub is connected to the USB input here and we've got a USB mouse as well as a USB keyboard and we're directly controlling those uh, so we can drive the instrument as we expected uh, just using the mouse control as well that can actually help considerably if you're doing a lot of data entry or naming files or entering license information so the touch screen is going to be a very uh, very useful for you uh, in a later video I'll show you a little bit more about the web interface uh, as well as what we've got here for the different modes of operation here we've got spectrum analyzer mode that's standard but it also has optional modulation analysis, distance default, and vector network analysis. And we'll cover those in additional videos in the future. So the user interface has changed significantly as far as the capabilities or the, the ability to, to interact with the instrument, as well as this USB in and out. Uh, the instrument does have one hertz resolution bandwidth. The DANL is right around minus 156. Uh, it's got the same marker and marker functions in the swept super heterodyne or spectrum analysis mode as the SSA 3000X. Uh, it also has marker tables as well as peak tables. And another feature that is interesting here is the power on line. So I'm just going to go into the system menu and go to power on preset and you'll see that it says power on line enabled or disabled. Power on line and how this works in the default mode it says disable. If we were to disconnect the power from the instrument, what we would actually see is the instrument would not power on automatically. And I'm just going to briefly show you that by turning off the power strip to the instrument. And now you'll see that the power light has just stayed in the, uh, in the standard standby configuration. So we'll power boot, boot it back up. And just take a second. The power online is going to be extremely helpful if you have the instrument in a remote situation, maybe on the top of a mountain or in a building that you don't have access to. Uh, the instrument will automatically turn back on if we enable power online. So I'm going to go back to the system menu, power on preset. I'm going to turn on the power online and I'm going to then flip the power again. And now you see that the instrument has automatically rebooted and come back up in that configuration uh, that we originally had it set up for. And that is very helpful. Again, if you can't get to the instrument, it will automatically boot up and start, uh, start operating again. And with the new web server that we have inside the instrument, you can then go into the instrument via web browser remotely. It will automatically boot back up if the power changes and you can still continue monitoring in a remote application. So that can be very helpful as well. So I hope that this is, uh, has helped you uh, understand the interface a little bit better on the SVA1000. Again, we'll be putting together a number of other videos for this particular instrument. If you have any questions, please contact us or your local Siglent office. Thank you and have a great day.